So um, I ask all, all of my guests this question, which I think is important. Um, you know, there's women, female entrepreneurs and women that are transitioning to entrepreneurship all the time, every day, mm -hmm. and everybody is different. So if you could give, let's say a new entrepreneur or an entrepreneur that might be struggling, just one or two tips from your everyday life as a female entrepreneur, especially in the music industry, um, that you think could help them, what would you tell them? You are the five people you spend the most time with, number one. So choose wisely. Because if you're trying to get somewhere, an entrepreneur, right, is generally also some type of visionary. And you're seeing things, you're doing things that other people can't see. You know, the download was given to you, right? Yes. And so you can't expect everyone to understand it or to know it or whatever. I started at some point later, 2020, hold me to it. I'm going to finish the book called Whose Journey Are You On Anyway? Yeah. Because it was like, you know, the committee around me, you're going to do that. Why are you going to do that? How are you going to do that? I'm like, right. I don't know how I'm going to do it. You know what? But, <laughs> but you're going to do it <laughs> together if I do. So anyway, I hear you. the people are so important. And then also every day learning, growing, every day learning, growing. I read at least, and you know, if you want to read, this is what I always tell people. If you want to read at least like, let's say 10 or 12 books a year, right? Most people sit back and think like, oh, I got to go on vacation or when am I going to have the time or how am I going to do this? Da, da, da. One of my mentors said, break it down 10 pages a day. Stay accountable to your personal growth. If you read that many books, there's no way that next year you're going to be the same person. Yeah, so I know. whatever you're dealing with now, struggling, you know, to, to, to figure it all out, just know you will figure it all out, but it's just like figuring it out every little, you know, step of the way. Yeah. I love that. The five people, I couldn't agree with you more. I, you know, I used to feel bad. <laughs> I really don't anymore. I'm just like, literally get out of my way with certain things like this event that I ran on Monday night. Field and you just plow I'm, through. <laughs> I'm just like, Get out of my way. This is going to happen, whether you're there or not. So, and you know what? Sometimes, like last night, I had a meeting with my new events partner, and we agree. We're 100%. It's like no BS. We don't have time for that. We're women. Yeah. We have to make something happen. And that's a, a woman's strength, right? And then the second, the second thing you said about reading the books, what I have found, and I love that, and you definitely need, I'm mean, going to have two MBAs and all of that, but that doesn't even matter because People are like, oh, you have two MBAs? I'm like, yeah, but I have 14 years of entrepreneurial ownership experience, you know, which is much bigger than that. And it's about learning every day. And what I found, um, especially now, like shifting and doing work in, in music and marketing is that reading or the learning, like I, I really am not much of a reader. I'm a writer and I use um, Audible, you know, all the time I'm on Audible and podcast. I'm yeah. more of a listener um, is is to have a little bit of a strategy around that. Not just like read a book because Tony Robbins or Seth Godin, I mean, they're great people. Like read my book, that's cool. And I've read your books, but like, what is your focus, right? So yeah. to go back to focus, you know? So mm -hmm. for me, I spent a lot of time watching. Like last night, again, I was up to like three in the morning because after work, I want to learn. <laughs> and that's yeah. what happened. And I'm like, okay, I need to watch another music industry documentary. And I was watching like, you know, everything from like the Jimi Hendrix story to like Clive Owens or whoever learning how to get to the next level. So you could do that with books, but having that focus instead of, I found myself in a lot of entrepreneurs and I've been in women's book clubs where it doesn't resonate. So mm -hmm. just throw it out, put it like, I have a bookshelf behind me. I've read half of the books, you know, because I want to try them, but then, so that's really important. And then, you know, when you have that point that you want to get to that horizon point, all of that knowledge and that learning will help you get there. So I